Hello again and welcome. This is a video series lesson that is specifically for those that have a type A blood type subgroup. It's a continuation of video lesson number eight, part eight. So if you're type A subgroup, this is for you. Type A's are best suited for a vegetarian diet. Their body doesn't digest meats very well, usually especially for uh, organic. They have a much higher risk of heart attack or stroke, and they have a high base level of cortisol, which is released during stress episodes. Cortisol releases, uh, causes massive amounts of glucose to be released into the bloodstream when you are stressed. So they're very prone to developing insulin resistance as a result because of the excess blood sugar. Most of the males of type A and AB are highly prone to developing type 1 diabetes, more so than any other blood type, and it increases as they age, usually because of a blood type incompatibility with their mother. The link between diabetes and type A blood type results from the ability of certain serum lectins that bind to the insulin-producing beta cells inside the pancreas and the A antigen that results in inflammation and cell death. Type A's are highly prone to heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Adhering to the recommended diet for type A's is really very essential in order to avoid those chronic disorders, health complications, and other diseases. So type A's will typically lose weight quickly if they eliminate meat and processed foods from their diet in total. Meat slows the metabolic rate of type A's, causing a sluggish, low-energy response. Many type A's will retain fluids when their diet includes too much meat. They will not utilize meat for fuel and energy. Instead, they store it as fat. They do not digest meat very well, which leads to weight gain. Type A's have a low acid content, which is necessary to digest meat, especially hydrochloric acid. Since most meats, especially cold cuts, contain nitrates, they increase the risk of cancer in the type A's, and they should eliminate all dairy from their diet. Their digestive system is incapable of digesting it properly, and it provokes an unfavorable insulin response. It causes a metabolic rate slowdown. The metabolism will slow down. They will be short on energy. Their systems are not capable of dealing with the high saturated fat that is in dairy, which is a primary cause of obesity, heart disease, and diabetic complications. Dairy causes the secretion of mucus in type A's in massive amounts, which leads to other issues. A little bit of mucus is good, too much is not. So that can cause allergic type reactions. Type A's produce more mucus than other blood types. Too much mucus promotes the growth of bacteria because they feed off of it. Bacteria growth leads to increased incidences of infections, allergic responses, and respiratory issues. So some legumes, like dairy, uh, including dairy, corn, potatoes, and wheat, will promote insulin resistance. We've talked about dairy and uh, wheat significant, uh, quite a bit in this video lesson. They should not eat any processed grain products. All wheat flour products should be completely eliminated. Type A's are incapable of utilizing energy as quickly as other blood types, which will inhibit caloric metabolism, their digestion. It'll avoid meats. They should avoid meats and dairy. Uh, grains provide many of the nutrients that type A's lose by eliminating the meats. So type A's are sensitive to the lectins that are found in the potatoes, yams, sweet potatoes, and cabbage. So type A's are sensitive to the nightshade vegetables as well, uh, but they are not sensitive to, to tomatoes. Tomatoes have lectins that will agglutinate in all blood types. However, type A's should not eat tomatoes because they have a detrimental effect on their intestinal tract. So broccoli, carrots, collard greens, kale, pumpkin, and spinach can be very beneficial for the type A's. So type A's benefit from eating garlic. Everyone does. It boosts the immune system. It kills fungi. It also kills bad bacteria, uh, bad viruses, and so forth. But it will also scrub plaque from the arteries. Garlic will help prevent the specific types of diseases that type A's are so prone to, to manifesting. Yellow onions contain antioxidants such as quercetin that are also very beneficial for type A's. Diabetic type A's should experiment 
with fruits, especially to determine how much they can eat without compromising their control, because fruit can be very high in natural sugars. And as you saw in other video lessons, especially on cholesterol, too much fruit can increase not only your triglycerides, but it can also increase your LDL cholesterol. Diabetics should incorporate as much fruit in their diet as their control will allow. Type A's should eat the more alkaline fruits, like berries. All berries are very good. They're also very high in antioxidants. Uh, also, they should eat plums. Melons are alkaline, but again, they have a high mold count, which complicates digestion, so <clears throat> therefore should be eliminated. Type A's do not do well on papayas, mangoes, and some other tropical fruits. You should experiment to see how your system reacts. Pineapple is very good for type A's, but may contain too much natural sugar for, if, for you if you are diabetic. Oranges will irritate your intestines, and it will interfere with the absorption of nutrients. So grapefruit will benefit the stomach of type A's, unlike O's. So lemons will aid digestion and cleanse mucus from the system. That is, except for that final very thin layer that you need so desperately. Apricots, figs, and some melons are a better source of potassium than bananas for type A's. So now, these next few slides are going to list various groupings of foods. And they're either beneficial, neutral, 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 or detrimental. You should make note of the detrimental food items on each of these pages and eliminate them entirely from your diet. So these slides will only be up for a short period of time because of time limitations. So you may have to stop the video in order to take notes. But please proceed. Thank you for watching this video lesson. I'll see you in future videos.